So I'm just doing a quick little clean out on this fancy coop that I have. I um, have quite a few birds in here. Not sure how good you can see, but I um, rake out the entire the entire coop and nesting boxes, everything. Um, we bought some new two by fours to make some new nesting bars, uh, perch bars, and my husband's gonna make them so that I can pull them out and scrub them, because as you can see. And then these are going to be replaced before winter, the bags, um, because they poop all over everything. I mean, those of us who have chickens know, if you know, you know, and that's what they do, they poop. So I'm just cleaning this out. I um, rake it out, sweep it out, clean it out good. Sometimes I put down lime, uh, sometimes I don't. This time I'm not going to because I think I probably have a pretty good accumulation of lime underneath here. So this is what I'm doing today. I like to keep things as clean and fresh as I can. And um, everybody's locked out front right now. And this is what we are doing. Clean this all out nice and spiffy. They pay especially good attention underneath the roost bars because all night they poop the entire night. So I scraped the bars this morning, even though they look a little bit dirty. They are clean. Um, lots of cobwebs. Disgusting stuff in here. So I try to knock down what I can, but I'll tell you, I've never seen such dust and cobwebs. So I knock some down every time I do it. And this usually takes me, I don't know, probably a half an hour or so to clean this little coop, the big coop. Where we have our laying hens takes more time. Very satisfying when you get it done, you know. I put about probably a bale and a half of shavings in here. That includes all of the nesting boxes being full and quite a good layer of this. I don't do the deep litter method. I don't know, I just don't, I like a clean coop and I don't feel like that's clean. I know a lot of people swear by it and it probably saves quite a bit of money. Shavings are expensive, but this is what I do. So.
I said, this is my fancy coupe, and it's the smaller of my two coupes. It's uh, Amish made. Um, I would have done things a little bit differently if I was building it, which I don't build, so. But uh, they did use green wood, so there are some gaps, which, you know, it's... Uh, it's good to have good ventilation in your coops, but we get very harsh winters up here. And um, so where they perch, and we're the really big spots of ventilation from the wood uh, shrinking. I've covered with bags and uh, we cover the outside door in plastic. Up above there is good ventilation still, so that's good. But as you can see, it's not bad to clean. It's a little bit of time. A little bit dusty. everything up very well. I go by the broom. Do all the cracks and crevices. <coughs> I think I'd go wear a mask to do this because probably a good idea but today. I just rake 
or sweep all of the whatever's left out into the back run because I either spread it out there or I, when I rake the back run, it comes out. So and that saves me a little bit. I'm just going to show you what shavings I use. These are the shavings that I use and they're from Tractor Supply. They're the fine ones. A lot of people like the bigger chips. I like the smaller ones. They are a little bit dustier, but with the little tiny birds that I have in here, their feet and stuff do better on the smaller shavings. So that is how I clean out my coop. And, um, This is the back run and next I will just pick up everything off of the floor out there and um, rake that all out nice, put everything back, put the shavings down in here and uh, that'll be it. So that is my little tutorial of how I do the coop. Um, Sorry, I'm probably making you dizzy. <coughs> I hope everybody has a great day. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And I'll be doing more and hopefully learning more on photography and videoing and such. All right. Uh, thank you. And you have a wonderful day.